Hello everyone, I'm Martin and I'm part of the Media Access Marketing Department for SEASF. We welcome you to our 2021 AAP session. Those new to our channel, welcome. Now before we get started, click that subscribe button and give this video a like as it will help move our platform forward so we can continue spreading awareness to the general public about sickle cell disease through our social media. As everyone is getting the vaccine, make sure to continue practicing social distancing and staying healthy. Today's session features a client with sickle cell, Stephanie Starr. Stephanie Starr will be discussing an opioid-induced hyperalgesia, the mechanisms behind it, Subutex, the side effects of it, Indari, how it works, and its side effects, and much more. Indari is a form of an oral version of L-glutamine, and it will help basically two groups of people, people with uh, sickle cell disease and those with sickle beta thalassemia. Um, L-glutamine is what it is a version of. If we could go on to the next slide, I think that one. Okay, so you know, we have as, as SCD patients, we have messed up uh, hemoglobin and hemoglobin does the work of carrying the oxygen. Um, and it is a protein itself that carries oxygen in red blood cells. Oxidation damage of the cells is what causes them to get that stiff, sickled shape instead of the nice squishy donut shape that it usually is. Glutamine is a protein that has two, three major roles in cell metabolism. One of them is protein synthesis. And I forgot to actually look and put this, the actual definition of that. And then it's an antioxidant, and it will it will help um, it will help keep the cells from getting that oxidation. And the other thing that I absolutely adore it for is it is your there are two main sources of energy, and one of them is sugar, and one of them is glutamine. Well, no wonder we were so like always tired and no energy. Well, Indari allows us to absorb any glutamine running around in our blood um, and use it to produce the antioxidants that will keep the rest of our blood nice and um, hemolo hem present with the hemoglobin in it. So when I started taking Indari and Booz, I am not a person that likes to take new drugs. So I had lots of questions about this. And um, and the thing is, I think, can we go to the next slide? Because, uh -oh. okay. <laughs> because um, Indari is administered, it's a powder. I'm on three packages of it twice a day. I said three times a day. That's wrong. That's a typo. It's twice a day. You put it in either. Um, basically, there's two ways. Either people drink it or they eat it. But whatever you put it in has to be room temperature. So I cannot stand the. It does something to the texture of the liquid that doesn't work for me. So I put it in applesauce um, or pudding or oatmeal. Apparently you are in one or the other of the, camp, the camps. You're either uh, a drinker of it or you are an eater of it. I choose to eat it. And it does, it gives you, um, you feel the difference in the energy. Um, people would ask me how I was doing and it was always, I'm tired. I'm tired. Well, now the Indari has come out. I see how it is. I see why. It makes sense now. This is why I was always tired. Um, now I don't, I'm not, I'm not as tired anymore. Now the issues that I have are more from my 
avascular necrosis that's causing issues right now. But, you know, we work around that too. Um, so I, I have on here that the average dose is three packages twice a day. Um, Solomon, you like Arendari? Can you drink it? Yeah, I can't. I can't. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. But as long as there's applesauce, life is good. Um, can we have the next slide, please? These are the side effects that were listed. So, okay, so when I was first prescribed in Dari, I talked to the pharmacist and they were like, oh, okay, here's the side effects, chest pain. Okay, can you be more specific? Because I need a little bit more than just chest pain. I'm a sickle cell patient. You got to narrow it down for me somehow. What kind of chest pain is it that you're looking for? And they didn't have that information. So we ended up me having to get a whole bunch of uh, tests. Because like I said, I have a, a heart condition as well. So we needed to make sure that I would be okay on this, this medicine. Um, and I understand to a degree why when they're doing studies, they, they put it vaguely, but it would seem to me if you are working with a population that constantly has a very specific type of chest pain or whatever, there should be a way to indicate that no, we're not talking about that kind. We're talking about, you know, something else. So it took a while before I was able to get my Indari, but I'm, I'm feeling it. I, I definitely like it. Can we have the next slide, please? How does, um, how do, does it make you feel, Solomon? Um, it makes me feel great, like you said. It gives me more energy because it's something that us sicklers don't produce naturally because we're supposed to produce that naturally in our mm -hmm. DNA chain, I believe. And um, it's supposed to be the seventh one. And instead, we make valine, and that's what makes our blood so hydrophobic or whatever or crazy. And so um, when I took it, it took me a while for it to kick in because I have beta sickle thalassemia or oh, whatever. Really? Mm hmm. So it took me a while for it to feel anything, to be honest. And um, while I was taking the Indari, I was also um, detoxing and taking um, glutathione, which is mm -hmm. uh, L-glutamine is one of the precursors to glutathione, you know, and we need glutathione in our bodies and we don't produce it to begin with. And if we do produce it, we produce it very, 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 very low. And that's one of the master antioxidants for our body <clears throat> to even live longer, to just it like mm -hmm. really helps literally everything, especially in our blood, you know. So I take Indari and I take glutathione every day and my energy <clears throat> has been really good. My skin has been clearer. Um, mm -hmm. I don't have yellow eyes anymore. Uh, my hair grows and all that stuff. So, yeah. That's I great. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I like praise it. Like, I mean, I like testify on it. Like, I really believe that everybody should be on Indari that has to go to sell because, <laughs> yeah, we need it. It is a really good drug. The mm -hmm. next slide we have is a drug called, well, it's Deferocerox is its name, but uh, it's Jaden New. Now, I am or was like crazily iron overloaded, um, like insanely off the charts, iron overloaded. Um, your normal iron levels are supposed to be like 400 and mine was 13,000. So you don't want extra iron bopping around in your body because it will stick to every possible organ and system. Um, as a matter of fact, the fact that we have become iron overloaded due to transfusions is why they changed the name from just plain sickle cell anemia to sickle cell disease, because those of us that are iron overloaded, we're not anemic by any stretch of the imagination. 
So they had to change the the name to make it more um, more reflective of our actual situation. So Jada knew um, I cannot take X Jade in its other form, which is pill form that you mix up with orange juice. Um, and I was doing the IV version, but man, that's work. That was work because you had I had to do it for eight hours every single night, hooking up to my port. Um, you know, it's it's a lot to do when you walk in the door and you're already exhausted. It's a lot to do to get all the supplies together and check the batteries and get the pump and do the sterile this and the sterile that. So I was very happy to uh, find out about Jade New. The other interesting thing about Jade New is it works quicker because the, the um, Desperol, which is the oldest version of the drug, takes forever to clear your iron. The purpose of Jade New is an iron chelator, which means it pulls it out of your body or it binds to the iron so that you can uh, release it from your body. I don't remember if it's through urine or stool, but it gets out of you. It's used to treat chronic iron overload from blood transfusions, which is a condition called transfusional hemo, I can't say it, hemosiderosis, um, which a lot of us end up with if we are not being properly um, transfused. And by properly, I mean like I go to San Francisco every month to get my apheresis, which is a procedure where they take out three units of my blood and put in three units of whosever blood we're using. Because they take mine out, I'm not getting any extra iron. I'm basically staying with the same amount of iron as I had when I walked in the door that day. If you just get a regular transfusion where, you know, they just throw a couple of units in you, um, one, it doesn't, it doesn't um, feel the same. It isn't as restorative as when you have apheresis. Um, it's kind of like apheresis is a lot like and Dari, you definitely feel the difference. Um, I was always confused as to why people would, when I would get just a regular transfusion, they'd be like, okay, well, it's, oh, the bags are in. You feel better yet? No, no, I don't. No, 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 I don't. Why? Because all that sickled blood is still in me. So no, I don't feel better. I will eventually feel better but not right now. However, with apheresis, yeah, I do. I feel better by the next morning because my blood is now not quite half and half, but a good amount of healthy blood in there with all the glutamine and energy that it provides, it's there. So, um, I am definitely a, a fan and a proponent of getting apheresis as opposed to just allowing them to give you a couple of units of blood. Um, it definitely has a completely different outcome and you don't need extra iron because you don't want to be like the tin man in rust and need to be screaming oil can every five minutes because yeah, <laughs> it's not a good look for everybody else. That's good, Stephanie. Throw a little levity in there. That's wonderful. You're great. You're doing great, Stephanie. Thank you. Um, can I have the next slide, please? Anybody having questions? Yes, that is exactly why the name changed. That is exactly why. 
So Jake New is administered in tablets. And here's the really cool thing I didn't know until I was researching this. So for Jaden New can be taken by children as young as two years old, but they get this really cute kind of Jaden New that looks like, um, what is that? Crystal light or something, those little powders you can put in your water and it flavors your water. So theirs is called um, sprinkles. They, they have these little, it look like little granules of sugar and they mix it in and it looks like Kool-Aid and they have a jolly good time taking their Jade New. The pill forms are a bit um, too big for a kid. They're, they're, I mean, they're kind of big, but they're, not, they're shaped better than like crazy stuff like calcium. They are shaped, they're oblong, so they will go down, but they are also very big, but they do their job. So um, can I have the next slide, please? So Jade New is dosed by weight. Um, and for adults, you get the tablets 3.5, 7, 14, or 21 milligrams per kilogram per day. So I take three. <laughs> Most people take three. Uh, the children, they get their little oil suspension with their, their Kool-Aid water stuff. And it's 5, 10, 20, or 30 milligrams per kilogram per day for them. I have no idea what what flavors they are. I want to know. Um, who says, I'm looking at this, it used to make your tummy hurt. That's not good. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we have the next slide, please? Oxbrida. Now, this drug made me break my, my rule because my kids will tell you, I don't do new drugs at all, point blank, period. However, this one is kind of like the benefits. I'll, I'll take my chances because what it does is, and actually it seems to be working. Um, I told you that I normally get transfused when my blood count is a seven and I get transfused um, by apheresis once a month. The last time I went to get transfused, my hemoglobin was like 9.5. My hemoglobin hasn't been 9.5 without having already been transfused in I don't know when. I seriously cannot remember when probably like the 80s or something. So Oxbrida raises your hemoglobin and it decreases the amount of um, hemolysis, which is the breakdown of your, your cells. Um, so it comes at our problem from two different angles which is good. And so when you're taking all these Indari and Oxbrida and Jaden New together, um, it, it, you feel the difference. I asked my doctor, because I agree, uh, I'm not a fan of like, I want to start getting off medication too. And I wanted to get off of the um, hydroxyurea because I've been on it forever and it definitely wasn't decreasing my crises. Um, but my doctor said it was still worth taking because it does decrease the amount of organ damage. Even if you're still going in the hospital the same number of times, what they see over a period of time with taking um, taking the hydroxyurea is that your organ damage is not as severe as someone who isn't. So, okay, sign me up. That works. I will continue doing that. So it's just, it's, it's so, 
different. Now, having all these options that were specifically made for us, that we're not the, the poor relations anymore. Um, because for all of my life, we have been cancer patients, poor relations. We get their hand-me-down drugs and, you know, um, the use as it benefits us, like with the hydroxyurea, was a fluke that they found out that it would, that hydroxyurea increases fetal hemoglobin production and that fetal hemoglobin does not sickle. But to have drug companies who, when I was a child, were absolutely defending the fact that sickle cell was what was called an orphan disease, that meant there weren't enough people that had it to make it profitable to make the drugs to go from there to we've got at least three or four companies that are actively doing it. My question was always, how exactly are you doing the math? Because sickle cell, I mean, that is the most common genetic mutation on the planet. So if that's the most common genetic mutation on the planet, and it's found in every, um, every population, not just black people, but like literally everybody. How is it that it's not profitable to make drugs? I think they finally come around to the fact that there, yeah, there are enough of us that make it very profitable. So it's a totally different feeling. I'm not sure what to do with it yet. Can I have the next slide, please? Anybody have any questions? Ooh. Aww. Calvin A, you said you have the worst side effects with Jada New and Oxbrida. I don't think I've had any side effects with those two. But I do know somebody else that also said that they had issues. Exactly with it oh yeah that's my plan and that's what i'm doing uh, okay ox brightest adverse reactions you can have drug hypersensitivity which means you basically become super sensitized to it and you can't take it anymore yes hmm go ahead calvin a most of the drugs. I'm kind of like one of those rare patients who experience everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. I definitely can relate. Um, pulmonary embolism. I'm really not a fan of doing that again. I mean, if I can avoid it. Um, diarrhea, abdominal pain, nausea, fatigue, rash, and fever. Um, I don't think I've had, well, I definitely haven't had a pulmonary embolism from it. Um, and I, I'm not hypersensitive to this. Um, so in me, it hasn't been that bad, but I do have a friend who was like, oh no, 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 no. This was worse than being pregnant. So, I mean, everybody is an individual and you're going to react differently and it's up to you to decide, you know, which which side effects are or or reactions are you worth are worth putting up with if it's helping you with your energy and everything else. Um, everybody shouldn't necessarily have to take all of them if if they don't want to. You know, it's it's a thing that you have the conversation with your doctor and and in forums like this it's good to have input from people who have actually been on the drugs i think that is a conversation that in any situation needs to happen you need to have access to the people that have actually already used the stuff and have them tell you you know so the better informed you are the better off you 
your decision making is. Can I have the next slide, please? So, how does ox bridle work? Now, this is, remember I said I am not a person to jump into taking new drugs. Not a fan. Nope. However, in this case, this is how it works. It acts like a really slippery blanket that covers the sickled cells. So, you know, in the cell sickle, they get pointy and hard and uh, stiff and just all kinds of bad. Yeah. But this blunt, this, 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 Oxbrida acts like a blanket and it covers the cells. And because it's this nice slippery little blanket, they can't stick to each other. Mm. And they, um, are closer to their normal shape with the addition of this blanket that is now over them. So it's not getting stuck in the small veins and capillaries and there's no traffic jam that is causing all this pain that we're used to in a pain crisis. Now that kind of made it worth, you know, if it really did that, worth giving it a try. Um, I still think that in my case, that the, the thing that made the biggest difference is the subutax, but um, definitely even now when I have sickle pain, it's other than the, other than in November, when we had this, re that really cold, cold spell, um, I'm pretty sure I have been in crisis at least once, but I was fine at home. Like it never got bad enough to even call my doctor, let alone go in and do the whole hydration and, and all of that. And I, and I don't think that the subutex was masking it. It just wasn't that serious. Um, because the, the hypersensitivity that opioids cause, um, it, the, with the other opioids, it definitely didn't mask and I would really feel it. Um, I don't think this is masking. I just think it's just not that bad and it's not that strong it's not that strong it's not that often the frequency is not that often the intensity is not that strong and it's manageable at home i mean i would still call my doctor if it got worse you know um i would still go to the infusion center if i needed to stephanie mm -hmm. is this paired with anything is when when somebody takes oxbrida is it paired with another another treatment or another drug that are these my, always, are my these doctor standalones? actually wants um actually wants people if they're willing to do Indari Oxbrida and Jada New. And for those that are willing to who are willing to try to um do the subutex she's perfectly willing to to write for that too but if you're still going to do narcotics those are the three that she puts together the oxbrida the andari and the jade new of course if you haven't had that many transfusions in your life you wouldn't need the jade new but if you had a lot of transfusions it's kind of the trifecta uh, um, can I have the next slide, please? Okay, so like thing about Ox Brida, Jade New, and Indari is it's not like you can run down to the neighborhood CVS. There are things called specialty pharmacies, and they are pharmacies that make compound medicines. A compound medicine is a medicine that does not come from the manufacturer already in 
its final form. So like when Tylenol is made, it comes straight from whoever makes Tylenol in the box, ready to go. You don't have to do anything else to it, but take it. Well, other medications need to be mixed with one or two other ingredients to make that final, that final, um, final drug. Um, it can also be a situation where the amount of, of um, people taking it, it's not enough for it to be on a regular pharmacist shelf all the time. In the Bay Area, Walgreens, oh, wait a minute, community is where I get one of my drugs. Can't remember, there's so many of them. Um, that's the one, actually, let me tell you in a minute, I think. Bang. Okay, so yeah, Walgreens community does my deference, my Jade new. Um, and they are in the Bay Area. And um, they were very easy to work with. Um, they are on Market Street, 2262 Market Street. And I'll put it, well, I'll put it in the chat before we finish and I'll put the phone number, but they did a wonderful job. They did it really quickly. They mail it to me. Well, they have it delivered to me actually. Um, works great. Um, U.S. Bioservices, I think is in Texas. They do my Indari and Oxbrida comes from a CVS specialty pharmacist. So yeah, sometimes it has to come from several different places. But the other thing about specialty pharmacists is they're used by people with lots of chronic or complicated diagnoses and they are very good at um, working with manufacturers and insurance companies to get you the best discount that they can find for you and they will deliver it to your house um, when you run out. They'll set up, like they'll call you. Some of them have apps that you can download and uh, do that to reschedule your medications, but they will definitely work with you. Um, so it's it's kind of nice. It's kind of um, different than a regular pharmacy that you've got to go there and stand around for an hour waiting for them to do whatever. Um, it's nice that they call you um, and they deliver it to you. And if your insurance, like, you know, certain insurances, you don't even have to pay. Or like one of one of mine, it's like a dollar thirty-five. I think that's the Jade New. Um, the Indari I don't pay for, and they're very expensive drugs. Um, but I don't have to pay for them. And the Jade New has brought when I first started going to San Francisco General, my um iron level was in the 7,000s when I first started Jada New. And in a month, it went from 7,000 to 5,000. So my doctor says that she has patients that completely go back to totally normal levels of ferritin in their bodies with this jade new and it was taking i can't even tell you how long i had been on the iv version it had been forever um and this was that big of a drop in a month so um hopefully within the next two or three months um mine will be almost back to normal and then we're gonna have our own bell ringing ceremony um uh, actually it's gonna be a drum drum beating ceremony 
um because it's a big deal it's a big deal to get that iron out of your system because it is extremely dangerous to have floating around in there um that was causing major issues so that we have this is amazing i don't know if that's the last slide or not um i don't remember uh, you, you have one more okay we can do that one ah there they are. U.S. Bioservices does my Indari. Walgreens Community does my Jnu. GBT provides my XJade. <laughs> Thank you, daughter. <laughs> um, one of my twin, my one of my twins is on here as well. So, hello, Ooh. sweetie. Nice. Any okay. questions or anything from anyone? Or any subjects that you want to discuss? I had a question with that information that you received about results for people getting back to normal after taking Jaden. Mm -hmm. Is that actively available for somebody to find somewhere or is it specifically information that comes from um, a care physician? This one came from my actual care physician, but I will find out if there's a, an actual, like, you know, who's tracking it. And because yeah, my, okay, so my physician is, she was, she spoke to the group last year, Robin McBride. So okay. all right. she's the one that prescribes all my stuff and has that information. So I will see if I can, I have to see her in a couple of weeks, as a matter of fact. Nice. So I will track it down. Yeah, that's mostly.